Hi, I'm Scott Lamline, Director of Music at St. John's Episcopal Church and Artistic Director of the Music at the Red Door Concert Series. And I welcome you to the second of our four November Salon Recitals that are taking place this month during, um, still during the pandemic. And so during the earlier times in the pandemic, these concerts were very, very popular to provide a little respite, maybe just 15 or 20 minutes during the middle of the week um, to give you something to hold on to that's real, meaning music in a world where things are just strange and odd right now. And, uh, and so uh, I'm glad you're, you've joined us today for a concert by Ed Clark, who is the uh, music director and organist at the Congregational Church in Farmington, where he's been for a long, long time. Um, and he's going to be playing today from his home organ, uh, which is a, a very fun thing. In fact, he'll be playing from numerous places, numerous places, including France, Germany, Poland, and Detroit. So his virtual organ at home will uh, transport you to each of these places, and he'll tell you more about that in just a second. More important, though, these concerts are a benefit. These concerts are taking place to help out our uh, brothers and sisters at Loaves and Fishes, Food Share, and Journey Home, which are organizations that help the hungry and homeless in the greater Hartford area nearby to St. John's. And so there are links in the description below that I hope you'll use to give generously for that really worthy cause. Please do that during this concert or after. Um, and share this with your friends. We'd love to have more people join us for these concerts. There are links in the description to sign up for our e-newsletter. Um, and you can subscribe to us on Facebook or YouTube to be reminded regularly of these events as they occur. So all that being said, please join me in welcoming the great organist, Ed Clark. Hello, and welcome to my program, which I'm calling An Organ Crawl at Home a brief tour of five virtual organs. What are virtual organs? Well, they're possible by using a software program called Hauptwerk, which can bring some of the world's best pipe organs right into your own home. There's currently an extensive library, at least 155 historic classical and theater organs available. In those organs, every pipe has been recorded, both up close and out into the room. And the recordings are then packaged as sample sets, which you can buy. So I currently have, I think, 10 or 11 sampled organs in my computer, and, but you're only going to hear five of them today. So in order to play back these organ samples, you need to have an organ console that has a MIDI output. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. So the output from the MIDI goes right into the computer so that Hauptwerk can then do its thing. So you can buy a Hauptwerk ready console, or you can retrofit a used console, or as I did, you can locate and or buy all the parts and then assemble them yourself. So in order to play the different sounds of these organs, I can choose which stops to use by setting combination pistons, and punching combination pistons on the console, like so. Each button can have different sounds assigned to it. Or the screen on the computer is a touch screen, so I can touch the different stops on the computer screen and uh, activate or turn them off that way. Each uh, sampled organ has a different screen. Usually it's uh, simulating the real organs console. So in a 20-minute program, it's impossible to demonstrate all the sounds of each of these organs, but I've chosen a variety of short pieces that showcase some of the distinctive features of each organ. So I start with a 19th century large French romantic organ. It was originally built in 1854, but Cave Cole enlarged it and rebuilt it in 1880. It's in the south of France, and the building has a five or six seconds reverberation, so it's a grand uh, space to play in. Uh, I'll be playing a, a relatively unknown Noel by César Franck. Next, you'll hear sounds from the North German Baroque organ, built in 1680 by the builder Arp Schnitker. And I'll play two chorale preludes of Bach. And then I switch to French Baroque music on an organ built by Andreas Silberman in 1745, and you hear the colorful reeds used by composers such as Don Drieu. 
And then I moved to a small organ that was originally built in the Netherlands, but was moved in, to uh, Poland. It was built, I think, in 1965. And on this organ, I have retuned it. You can do all this kind of stuff in uh, Hauptwerk. You can retune, change the pitch, change the volume of all the things within Hauptwerk. I've changed it to a mean tone tuning, which is appropriate for the 16th century folk song I'm going to be playing. And I'm going to finish with a theater organ from Detroit, Michigan. It's going to play a ragtime march called Funny Folks. The title refers to all the funny folks you would have seen if you were at the World's Fair in 1904 at St. Louis. Uh, since the theater organs were designed for accompanying silent movies, it's appropriate then that I've included a slideshow of historic photos from that 1904 World's Fair. So I hope you enjoy my tour and let's have some music.